Thank you. A Purdue student is attacked with a knife on campus early this morning, and now that attack has other students thinking about their safety. News 18's Brittany Tyner is live at Purdue. Brittany, how did this all happen? A student tells police that he was hit from the side by one man, then another man appeared and a confrontation took place. That second man did have a knife on him. Now, once other students were notified of the attack, some say they started thinking of ways they can stay safe on Purdue's campus. I do feel safe overall. I'm a pretty big guy, so I don't, <laughs> I'm pretty safe. I feel, you know, completely safe on campus. Some students Friday afternoon said they feel safe on Purdue's campus. That's despite a reported assault that took place around 3.40 Friday morning near Oval Drive near the class of 1950 lecture hall. Purdue Police Chief John Cox says it happened as a student was walking back from the Chauncey Village area to his dorm. He was hit from the side by one uh, male. Uh, another one uh, came out from behind the first one, had a knife. There was a confrontation. Cox says during the confrontation, the victim was cut in the abdomen and chest. He was able to run away to his dorm and call police. Cox says the people involved are described as college age white males. One was wearing a black t shirt and the other was wearing a blue t shirt. He says it appears to be an isolated incident. This appears to just be a random act. Uh, there's no, doesn't appear, not, not appear to be a connection to anything. Um, you know, we are moving forward and working with the victim. Other students on campus are using the attack as a reminder to put safety first while traveling on campus at night. It's the best way to stay safe is just walk around with the group. I mostly stay kind of in the center of campus where most people are. There's plenty of um, emergency buttons that press if I don't feel unsafe. There's also um, the 24 hour walk. Deal. Cox agrees with those students. He says there are nearly 200 emergency telephones across campus, and the Safe Walk program runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Police are looking through surveillance footage to see if there are any images of the two men that they can release to the public. John Cox says the two men did not get away with any money or any items like a cell phone or an iPod. Reporting live at Purdue, Brittany Tyner, News 18. Brittany, thank you.